This is Halabja, a city in semi-autonomous Kurdistan region, which turns into black every year on March 16th to mark the horrible tragedy happened in the city years ago. This year marked the 31st anniversary of the chemical attack on the city by the former Iraq dictator Saddam Hussein. Each year, the residents of the city commemorate the genocide that left over 5,000 persons dead, including women and children. The tragedy was so big that even after three decades, we are incapable of coping with its consequences. The signs of a genocide are still visible in the city. There are still many unhealed wounds. Meanwhile, the fate of many victims is still unknown. On Saturday, Halabja was the scene of many events commemorating the catastrophic incident, including plays, galleries, as well as ceremonies attended by officials and leaders of different political parties. This comes as many victims say they are neglected by government officials. If it was not for the Islamic Republic support, we would have died during the deadly attack. I stayed in Iran for two months and was treated there by Iranian doctors. Unfortunately, we don't receive the same attention from our own officials. Public services are not adequate for us. As you see, the remnants of the tragedy is still with us even after three decades. We expect our Kurdish officials to offer more services to the city's people. Halatja, located near Iran's western border, was bombed in 1988 during the final days of Iraq's war against Iran. Around 5,000 people, mostly civilians, were killed in the deadly attack which also left around 10,000 people injured. Every year on March 16th, a commemoration is held for the genocide in Halabja. People of the city are relieved and pleased that the individuals responsible for this mass murder were brought to justice years ago, but also disappointed that the Kurdish government hasn't put together enough effort to serve the city. Kakalabla Press TV, Halabja.